Alrighty. So I am just going to finish up all of the molding on the set from beginning to end and give you guys some tips on making each piece. This is exactly where we left, on, left off in the last video, like I didn't even close it or anything. And we're going to go ahead and make all these pieces. When you trace, make sure that you get all of your end pieces. I just accidentally made that line in the wrong place. And also make sure that you, when you double click, grab your move tool, you tap the control key so that you're not making a copy. Or that, so you are making a copy and you're not leaving things. Um, wow, maybe I shouldn't record right now. Uh, so that you're not leaving, uh, so that you are leaving a copy over there as I showed you in the last video. It's pretty easy to make a weird surface if you are using a, if you're not using the original drum item. So select my line, follow me tool. Eraser, hide. I'm gonna try really hard not to sing Kiss Me Kate, but it might be a little difficult. So, line tool, draw, corners, escape, Oops. move, double click, move tool, grab the corner, tap control, set that in the corner, grab your rotate, anchor, grab your handle, swing it out of the way. Now here's another time where I've made a little bit of an error. See how I'm grabbing, I'm actually moving that line that I made. I want to go ahead and grab my eraser tool and erase the whoop, not the group, erase those lines so that I'm not getting trapped uh, with a weird line. I'm going to grab the same thing again and now I'm better able to create the correct placement for my surface. tool, follow, grab my eraser tool, hold shift, Just clean up those lines, I'm going to go ahead and put my like my instructions in the beginning suggest, I'm going to go ahead and put my surface in place first. And even though I wrote this down and I told you to do it in the beginning, I'm not doing it right now, which is why I'm encountering some of those problems where when I rotate my piece, I have to be careful. Now, it may seem odd that I'm sticking this one out over there, and it is. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I want it to turn this corner though. So I'm going to grab this surface, I'm going to grab the move tool, and I'm going to move it back a little bit. I'm going to grab the eraser tool and erase that line that messed up. And I'm going to add a little, just a tiny jog back there. And what that's going to do is that's going to make it so that when I draw this line, Select, select. When I draw this, it's going to follow me out to that corner, around that corner, and around like this. And that's nice because it's going to give us a little end cap right there, which just looks a little better. It's a little faster to erase or heal your surface by zooming into corners like I just did. And that ensures that ensures that you're getting both corners. Don't be afraid to zoom into things and to navigate around a lot. Uh, I'm going to put one here 
and then I'm going to rotate it. Make sure I'm in the blue direction, grab my corner, grab my handle, and pull it out. Grab my move tool, and before I extrude this, I'm going to go ahead and set it down over here. Grab the rotate tool again. Grab the surface, grab the handle, rotate it out. I'm going to grab the line tool, and I'm going to do both this surface, and I'm going to do this surface. I'm going to grab this line, follow me tool, click, and I'm only doing these two at once to show you that you can be a little bit more efficient, and that's fine. And I'm going to grab the eraser tool. And this is what I was talking about, don't be afraid to zoom in. Don't be afraid to make sure you're getting the right corners. Here and here and here, there we go. So I'm almost done with my cornice molding. Sometimes you also want to zoom in over here to make sure that you're getting all of that frame, all of that cornice piece, because you really need all of it. Also, sometimes I'm choosing whether or not I want to put uh, the cornice on the right or the left because it's already in the right orientation and I don't have to rotate it. I'm choosing whether or not I want to put it in the right place or I'm choosing whether or not I want to put it in the front or the back of the wall. I'm going to reset the select that line because I wasn't sure if I got that little piece uh, based on whether or not it's in the right position already. If I can skip a step and it still looks the same, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Make sure you hold shift down when you're erasing that line because you're not looking to erase it or you'll get a hole. You can see that hole right there. You're looking to hide it by holding shift and hitting erase. If you go to view hitting hidden geometry, you can see that line is still there. View unhide geometry or hidden geometry again and it will hide it again. So that's all the corners on the top of our set. Right? You do not need corners on this back wall. We're gonna go ahead and do our door frames. Theoretically I don't need this anymore, but just in case I miss something, I'm gonna leave it. rotate until I'm generally in this direction. I'm going to grab the move tool and stick that side, this bottom corner right on the edge of the door. Then I'm going to grab the rotate tool again, grab the corner, grab the edge. And this time I'm going to rotate it until it matches the wall. And I want that to be as close as possible. I don't need to put that on both sides. I'm going since I'm going to trace this unit. And then I'm going to select it with the selection tool and grab the follow me tool and click on the surface. And there we go. I'm going to grab the eraser tool. I'm going to heal this line. And now I healed all three sides. There's one more trick you can use. This is a component. So it's going to replicate the same thing on both sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click inside this component and I'm actually going to build this in here. So I'm going to grab this and instead of, oh, aww, I forgot to copy it. So this time I'm actually going to copy paste because I'm going to double click inside this component, paste, place it on the floor. Now I'm going to have to rotate it down on its side again. So I need the red axis. I'm holding shift so it stays there. I'm going to grab one side, grab the other, and make it flat. Then I'm going to grab, whoop, then I'm going to make sure it's blue, grab uh, a center point, grab a handle, and move it until it's on its side. I'm going to grab the corner, the move tool, and put it on the edge of the bookshelf. Now I'm going to grab the rotate tool, and I'm going to make sure it's blue again. I'm going to grab a center point and a handle, and I'm going to swing it until it's right flush on the wall, which it is. It is not flat though, you can see that. So I'm going to grab the green axis and make it flat to the floor. Usually you won't have to do all of that movement 
quite so diligently, but in this case, I do need to do that. Now I'm going to select that line quite carefully because I am inside the component. Grab my follow me tool. Ah. So I grabbed the follow me tool, but because I accidentally hit the push pull tool first, it didn't automatically finish my thing. I actually just basically grabbed it the old fashioned way, but it'll work just fine. It's just a little bit faster. I'm gonna hold shift and clean that up. It's just a little bit faster to do the select a line and click instead of dragging it around. Um, and as you can see, because I put it inside the component, I now did both doorways at once and I don't have to do it again. That should be the end of our doorway molding that I know of. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and do baseboard and chair rail over here, which means I need to grab this and pull it up two foot 10 inches. Grab my selection tool, double click on the surface, grab the move tool, make sure I tap the copy, the control key to copy. And I'm actually going to rotate back here so that I can see better. Make sure it's blue. Tap the center, tap an arm, swing out the other way. Now I'm going to do that same trick I did on the other side of this wall. And I'm actually going to draw a line on the floor. Because it's a little easier to draw and select a line on the floor than it is to draw and select a line in the middle of the air. I'm going to make sure I get all the way up to this doorway casing. Grab my selection tool, select that line. Remember if you accidentally select a surface or a, an entire com component, you'll want to deselect that. And again, click the follow me tool, click the surface. And again, that's just a faster way to do that grab my eraser tool, and heal that surface. So that's just a little faster to heal that surface rather than trying to, rather than trying to do it all at one time. I'm gonna grab the baseboard, grab the move tool, make sure to tap control. I really should grab the bottom corner because that's what I'm matching. So bottom corner to bottom corner. I'm going to select that same line that I used for the chair rail. It's still there. The follow me tool doesn't use up a line. It doesn't need its own separate line to do its business, but it's useful to make one on top of the component because we have so much complicated stuff happening in our, in our little set over here. It's much easier to do. I'm going to grab the line tool and I'm going to make this little section in here. This one's a little bit tricky. Okay, now I'm going to grab the chair rail first. Because if I do the baseboard, I'll cover up the line that I need for the chair rail. I'm going to grab the chair rail, tap control, bring it over here, and bring it out kind of in the middle some more. Hello. Undo that. Uh, that turned out really weird. So I'm going to come up two foot ten inches. I'm going to make myself a point that I can anchor it to before I try and move it over there. Grab my move tool, tap control, stick it on the line in the corner. That intersection. I'm going to grab the rotate tool. Now I can't see it, but I know it's back there. And I'm going to operate a little bit on faith. I'm going to grab the blue and I'm holding shift. Now I'm going to come in here and I know the center of it is, I know the center of it's right in this corner. So I'm going to click the center in that corner and I'm going to click a handle out here. And now I'm going to move. I'm going to zoom out so I can see it. And I can see it coming out. There it is. And I'm going to put it generally straight out front. 
Now what you want to be careful of is that in this particular doorway, this is inside a component. So this is still a full surface. And if I go ahead and get myself lost in a wall, if I go ahead and select these two lines, the follow me tool and select this surface, I am going to get what I want. However, if I do this over here, this is not in a component right now. So it will swallow the surface. That these lines, because they're outside of a component, are going to interfere with the actual making of the component. So I'll show you what I mean right here. So if I go over here, grab my surface, grab my molding again, double click, grab the move tool, tap copy. I'm going to put one right here and grab the rotate tool and I'm going to do like I did before, grab a center point and rotate it out. I'm going to grab my tape measure tool and find that two foot ten. And I'm going to find it on both walls, actually. And first, I'm going to do it where I want you guys to do it, which is on this side. I put it on that intersection. I'm going to grab the rotate tool again and just make sure it's in the right orientation because I was doing a lot of that blind. Then I'm going to grab the move tool on the top and I'm going to grab that and I'm going to hit copy again. This you do not have to do. I'm just showing you what would happen if you tried to put it over here. Now I'm going to go ahead and try and put it at this height right over here. Now if I put it over here, now that I've put it on that line, it won't come off that line. And if I were to take it and I were to rotate it, I, I'm actually attached to that other molding. Because of SketchUp sti sticky geometry, it is wanting to stick to that. It won't stick to this one because it's in a component. So I want to make sure that I start this particular chair rail and baseboard on the component side, not on the French door side. This will also be a difficulty when I get to this door frame because it's outside of the component. So I want to just keep those things in mind. The same with over here. I'm going to make my little line right here for where my chair rail goes. But I'm going to start my chair rail on the right hand side or the side away from the door frame that already exists. Grab the move tool, tap the control key. I'm actually going to put it right there for right now. I need to make a 2 foot 10 line again, 2 foot 10, because I need to put this right there. But I'm also going to make sure before I move it there that it's in the right orientation while I can still see it. There we go. Perpendicular to the wall, grab it, set it in that corner. I'm going to undo that because it was not rotated far enough. I couldn't see it once it got to that wall. So I'm going to make it a little over 90. Then I'll move it to that wall. And then I'll rotate it while it's right up against this wall so that I know I'm in the right place. I'm going to select the line down here, grab the follow me tool, select the surface. Hello! Oh, see how there's a gap right there? If my line is not continuous, the follow me tool does not work. So it was just giving me an error, and I had to fix my error. Follow me, click. Okay. Eraser, clean that up. I'm going to clean this one up. I'm going to clean this one up. Cleaned that one up already. Got two more chair rails to go there and there. So I'm going to do this one real quick. Tape measure, 
two foot ten inches. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and start it two foot ten inches over here. Grab that corner tap control. Come over here, set that down. Now, remember how I told you that you could make a decision about where you want it to start by how it is oriented? That's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to add a little bit of chair rail go wrapping around this corner only because I want it to. Ooh. Actually, I'm going to draw my line up here. See how I can't get my my line to go all the way to to the end of the wall because it technically doesn't exist when we made it. It didn't it didn't exist. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one actually up at the top because it is going to be much easier to do. And I'm going to do it wrapped around that corner so that I don't have to rotate my my piece. Make that. Grab the eraser tool. Zoom in if I need to, and take care of that. I'm going to go ahead and go edit, delete guides, and I'm going to stop this video and take a break because I don't want these videos to be too long, and I don't want my brain to turn to soup. So in the next video, we're going to keep going. Just the same thing. I'm just going to build all these things for you.